Hello everyone. So today we are looking video streaming with RTSP and RTP. Basically, RTP is real time transport protocol. It is a transport layer protocol which actually used for data transfer. And RTSP is real time streaming protocol. It is a application layer protocol which is which acts like a remote controller. Basically, RTP we hear there are four major RTP methods that are setup, play, pause, and tear down. We will look into it in through code in detail. So basically, this is a server code. In server, first of all, we are taking server port as from terminal arguments. Now here we are creating a socket and binding it with the local host and the server port which we have taken as input and it will listen for maximum 5 clients now here we are creating a client info dictionary which will store socket descriptions and now here we are running server worker so now let's look at server worker in server worker basically here we are creating the four basic variables that are needed setup play pause and tear down also these are the states which will be required further we will discuss it init ready playing and state these are also basic variables now this init is like a constructor which will create the self client info which will set client info now through run we are creating a thread which is inside calling a receive rtsp request so here it is receive rtsp request in receive rtsp request we are first connecting socket and it will receive data from that connection socket 256 bytes and if if we got data then we will print the data what amount of data re received first of all we will that decode that data here we can look at decode part in decode we are basically taking byte stream as input it will take header header size and payload and after that it will call process rtsp request so in process rtsp request we are just separating the request which like we can see here this is the form of request like it will take first method file name rtsp version sequence number and here what type of transport it is using and client port number so it will from there we can take request type from here we are storing the file name and we are storing sequence number if that request type is of setup so first of all we can look at its self diagram state diagram so this is basically the state diagram if we are in a init state and if we call setup then it will go to ready state and in ready state if we call func play then it will be in playing state or if we call tear down then it will again it will go to init state and from playing if we apply pause then it will again go to ready and of applying tear down it will again go to init state so basically this is the implementation of that part first of all we are trying we are creating that video stream from that file here is the video stream part we are taking file name as in file name from that function uh, and we are opening it in a binary format this rb means that we are opening that file in a binary format setting frame number equal to zero okay. now this is just for the exception error now we are setting the session here we are generating a session random gen id this here we are setting uh, reply rtsp which is like here we have received successfully so we will send self dot ok 200 and in client info we are setting that rtp port number from that request type now if the request type is of play and 
our current state is ready so we can set our state to playing and now for playing we are creating a new socket which will be used for trans data transfer okay and now this thread from here we are using event and thread variables also now here we will call start function now if the request type is of false so and if our current state is playing so we can move to we can change our state to ready also we are setting it and we are sending reply rtsp in every messages and if request type is of tear down so we need to close that socket so here we are closing that socket so we will now we will look at send rtp function basically what it is doing first of it will run forever like while true but we will wait for 0.05 seconds now if the request is of pause or tear down then we don't need to work in this loop and we will exit from that loop now here we have to send next frame so we are calling this next frame function what next frame function will do it will like from first five bits will give the frame length and from that frame length we will store it take its value and we will read that length value that length of information from that file and we will increment frame number and we will return the whatever the frame we have read now here we are create making that rtp packet like it will require this version padding extension marker sequence number rtp so this all information will be needed in rtp packet now here we are creating that rtp packet so in rtp packet first of all it will here we have functionalities like encode we need to encode that message so in encode it will have version padding extension and so on this part of code we can write from the decode version like if in decode version this words if in words for version we have used here right shift 6 so for encoding we will use its left shift 6 in similar manner for padding purpose in padding purpose also we can do in the similar manner also like here in version you can see we have used right shift 6 so here we have used left shift 6 in sequence number we are doing its left shift 8 with header so we, here we are doing its right shift 8 in similar manner we can perform all this header function order values okay now here this is the reply rtp message which just if the code is of self dot okay 200 so which means that we have successfully received so it will just print that message and it will reply that to socket or if error occurs then it will print 404 not found or connection error so now we will look at client launcher basically these are the values we are taken from terminal input and we are here from here root equal to tk we are creating the gui and then we are calling that client class so in client class these are again this for these are the basic variables which are needed these are the states which are required in initialization part we are setting all this variable file name rtsp sequence number with two zero session id two zero and request currently we didn't have sent any request so it, we are setting it to minus one and then we are connecting it to server so connect server so basically in connect to server we are first creating a socket and then we are trying to connect it with the port number mentioned from taken we have input from the terminal window and if we are un unable to connect then we will print this connection fail message after that in create this create widgets it's like 
building the whole GUI. Like we here we have functionalities like setup, play, pause, and tear down. We can look here. Like suppose here I am running the server.py and giving the server port number as 18,000 let's suppose. And running the client launcher. Here we are giving the IP address of source, here port number and this RTP port number and file which we want find the file name. So this is the whole GUI which which we build here that setup functions and like here we have setup function play button pause button tear down button in setup movie if just we want to set up then this function is will be executed like setting up so it will print this setup message in server side it also shows that we have received processing of setup has been successfully basically these are the functionalities of every button we have implemented in listen rtp we are receiving the data from that rtp socket and then decoding it and storing that current sequence number in the current frame number and if that current frame number is greater than self frame number then only we will execute it otherwise it means if current frame number is less than the self frame number then it means that the this is the late packet so we need to discard it and now we are passing that to our update movie function here in writing that frame we are just giving the name and opening it in a cache name in write binary mode and here we are writing that data and then closing that file and returning that file here update movie frame in update movie we are just creating that image from the file which we have given and then setting its attributes and in send rtsp request if the re request code is of setup and currently we are in init state then we are creating a thread and through thread we are calling this receive rtsp reply in receive rtsp reply we are first rece receiving the like collecting the data and then calling it through parse rtp reply in parse rtp reply we are just splitting the request type and from that we are taking a sequence number and if sequence number is of rtsp sequence number then only we will from that we will take session id if session id is zero then we will just assign it otherwise if it is equal to session id then here we will go in the request type if the request sent is of self set, setup from that so if it is in setup we will go move to ready state and here we are opening that rtp port if request type is of play then we will set our state to playing and if the request type is of pause we will set our state to ready else if it is of tear down then we will just tear we will setting this tear down acknowledge to one and again setting our state to init So basically open RTP port is just creating that new socket and binding it with the local host. So basically we can now look at the functionalities like we have done all we have already done the setup part. So now we can play. So as you can see here now in client side we can see the sequence numbers are coming. Now if I do pause then this client side will show that the pause says post message has been displayed and this session id is displayed now again if i will play then it will again go on now again suppose we pause 
So again, it's, it's displaying this pod message. And suppose if I now tear down, then it will close the entire session. Okay. So this is how video streaming works through RTSP and RTP. Thank you for watching.